What's happening, Crypto Fam? Happy, happy Wednesday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott and it's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking time out to consume the content, so thank you. And this morning, I want to talk more on the so called delisting of XRP. Delisting. People telling everyone to sell it and that. I'm just here to tell you to block out the noise. Um, I don't want to tell people what to buy, what to sell, when to buy, when to sell. I don't want to do that. No one's got the right to tell people how much they can put into something and how much they can't or what to buy or when to buy it. And there's too many people at the moment going around just telling people to sell their XRP. Oh, people are suicidal, Scott. They need to sell their XRP. <laughs> Mate, shut your fucking mouth around people that have got XRP. If you don't support XRP, just shut your fucking... Mm talk to me about suicidal people and then do something that can increase the suicidal thoughts down the line fucking stop it we're telling people to sell at 18 cents what if it goes to a dollar in three months real talk what if it goes to a dollar you, you think they're suicidal now don't stop telling people to sell at 20 cents and 18 cents <clears throat> again stop telling people to buy Go and tell them to look at it. Go and have a look at that XRP. It's cheap as fuck at the moment. There's a chance it could go down. There's a chance it could come back up. That's all you should be fucking saying. Block out the noise, right? There's people that have sold all their XRP, wounded, now telling other people to sell theirs, and telling them to sell at 18 cents. And then two hours later, it's 25 cents. Yeah, sell to protect your wealth at 18 cents, mate, even though it's going to be 25 in a bit. Block the fucking noise out. And ignore the muddy, fuddy fucking headlines. Yeah? Like this. Coinbase to delist XRP. <laughs> ignore it. They're not delisting it. I'm sick of hearing it. I'm sick of people saying it. This is why I'm saying it's FUD. And I've got people like Inde... And everyone else saying, oh, it's not FUD. FUD's fake, though. No, no. FUD isn't fake, mate. FUD is anything you introduce that introduces and induces fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt are fucking real. Let me tell you that right fucking now. That's real shit. It's why the people are suicidal. Because of the fear, the uncertainty, the doubt. It's not fake fucking real it's about as real as it fucking gets right and when you've got someone who's just bought an xrp and it's dipping a little bit and they're a noob so imagine they're a noob and then they see, they've just bought on coinbase and then they see an article another type of person that doesn't read the full article because they've not got time but the headline shouldn't deceive the headline should inform so we can go into work then and be like, yo, I've not seen the headline, but apparently Coinbase are delisting. And everyone else is like, oh, what, what, did you read the article, you dickhead? Well, no, why should I have to? The headline should tell me what the article is about, should it not? It's fucking bullshit. You want to talk about fake? We'll talk about fake news in headlines. Delisting. This is Coinbase's official fucking blog. Coinbase's official statement. And Coinbase will suspend trading on xrp they're not delisting it i've got people in my inbox oh what am i gonna do me, me, me xrp stuck on coinbase it's not you've got to do a limit order to sell it or you move it or you leave it right <clears throat> in light of the sec's lawsuit against ripple labs inc we have made the decision to suspend the xrp trading pairs on our platform Trading will move into limit only starting December 28th. So if you go on Coinbase right now and try and do a market order, it ain't going to wash. But a limit order will. So do what you want to do. I'm not telling you whether to go on and buy or sell. Do what you want to go and do. <laughs> Accept the fucking consequence. If you sell your XRP now and it goes to new all-time highs by next summer, accept that consequence. If you, sell, if you don't sell now when it goes to zero, accept the consequence. It's your decision. It's your value. Don't let anyone influence it at all. This is why we always said only put in what you can afford to lose. Diversify. Buy more than one asset. It was never about XRP. That's why I then Damora and I ended up leaving. Because it was all go all in XRP. And I'm like, I'm not telling people to do that. 
get do your own fucking video if you want to tell people to do that. It is actually at 2.30 p.m. PST. Pacific Standard Time, I believe that is. That's California's time, as far as I'm aware, but I don't know. It will be fully suspended on Tuesday the 19th of January at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hey, they wrote it that time. We will provide additional updates, if any, through the Coinbase support Twitter account, including if there are any changes to the timing. The trading suspension will not affect customers' access to XRP wallets, which will remain available for deposits and withdrawals. Functionality. Further, customers will remain eligible for the previously announced Spark airdrop, subject to approval in certain jurisdictions, and we will continue to support XRP on Coinbase Custody and Coinbase Wallet. Coinbase remains committed to being the most trusted platform for trading cryptocurrencies and we strive to provide our customers with access to a broad set of assets. A broad set of assets. <laughs> About five on it. I've been on it for ages. There's probably a lot more assets on that. But broad set of assets. It used to be only free. You can't trust that Coinbase at all, mate. I don't trust Coinbase at all. Not that you shouldn't. I mean, they'll continue to monitor the legal developments related to XRP and update our customers as more information becomes available. Trading may be halted earlier as needed to maintain our market health metrics. Our decision to support any asset or functionality requires significant technical and compliance review and may be subject to regulatory approval in some jurisdictions. We therefore cannot guarantee when or if the services mentioned in this post will be available in any specific jurisdiction at this time. Coinbase are about to lose almost every global member they've got outside the US. Coinbase has just shot the foot off. Yeah, I mean, they can still walk and hop, still hopping along, but it's only going to damage your reputation in the long run if you're cut off. I don't, I, I, I'm just going to make a percentage up then, but God knows what it is. I wonder how many, how many people use Coinbase that are actually not a US citizen that are now thinking, you know, fuck this, I'm just going to go to a bit true, or uphold, or Kraken. Kraken ain't suspending it. Kraken's a bank, mate. Kraken is a registered US bank. And they ain't fucking taking it down. Or apparently not yet. Go Google, mate. I, I, I'm not serious, lad. Let's go to Google. Kraken. XRD. Kraken. Kraken. D-list. <laughs> Shall I put D-list or suspend? Kraken to delist XRP. Oh no, it just comes on Coinbase, do this, Coinbase, do that. The exchanges that delist XRP following the lawsuit. Coinbase to suspend trade and to suspend trade. Oh, the ball is running with Coinbase. Now I know it's the biggest name. Kraken legitimately haven't said shit. And they're a registered bank. They're an actual fucking bank. Are they not? I need to fucking verify it. Crypto. I'm fucking sure that. Kraken is the first cryptocurrency firm in the US to become a bank. In September last year, the Wyoming Banking Board voted to approve a San Francisco-based crypto exchange's application for special purpose depository institution, Charter. Kraken is now the first SPDI bank in Wyoming. So you've got a bank in America, Based around cryptocurrency, 
Kraken with XRP pairs. And as far as as far as I can see up to now, they ain't they ain't suspending or halting shit. So and then all the all the other muddy fudders, the fudders are gonna be like, oh yeah, but wait till Coinbase does it, wait till the nineteenth, mate. Once Coinbase has done it, everyone's gonna fucking do it. Well Coinbase have announced it, so why is everyone else not announcing it? Do you wanna know what bitch you were announcing? Bitch you were announcing the fact that today you're gonna have your flare dropped. <laughs> oh yeah. And from the sixth of January, there's gonna be an XRP slash flare fucking pair to start trading it. Meanwhile, on Bitru, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Real talk, that. Right? Let me go and find it. Excuse me. Excuse me. But yeah, so on one hand, you've got Coinbase and the likes of them being like, oh. The XRP. FLR ratio has been decided, which means Bitru will be op opening FLR trading on the XRP pair starting January the 6th. We'll also be airdropping your initial FLR distribution to your accounts on December the 30th. More info at the link. And that is the pin tweet on Bitru's Twitter. The pin tweet. Yeah. The initial airdrop, the, the initial distribution, I think, was 15%. It means I'll get, like, 600 flare drops in, I think. I mean, some are trying to say that Spark was, um, was valued on the Celsius network at a dollar. But it won't be. It'll be a cent. <laughs> It'll probably look like a dollar, but was a cent. But again, so you've got Kraken, not saying anything about XRP. You've got Bitru. Um, and don't get me wrong, they, 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 they suspended purchases, credit card purchases for US based members. So, the, the, I mean, they're all taking precautions. They're taking precautions, but let's, let's have it flaming right. Yeah. Coinbase custody, baby. It 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 did. They said the wallets are still gonna work. You still there's people on me on my YouTube. I can me, me, me funds are stuck on Coinbase. I'm like your funds ain't stuck on Coinbase, me. I don't know who's telling you that. But they're not stuck on Coinbase. There's like, they've even tweeted it a day ago, given the sex recent action against Ripple, XRP books have been moved to limit online Coinbase plans to fully suspend trading. We will continue to support XRP on Coinbase Wallet, Coinbase Custody, and Coinbase will continue to monitor legal developments related to XRP and update our customers. More information is available through the support to account. It's basically just a paragraph from the other statement, but... <laughs> I don't... I want people... To remember why they went in to the crypto space, why they started buying certain digital assets. I want people to remember what you're in it for. I want people to remember which projects you believe in, what you believe in long term. I want people to remember that XRP is a supranational, international, fucking global currency that's already being used in payments, settlement, to pay people, to pay businesses. Yeah? No shit. If anyone deserves suing, it's the SEC for all the damage they've just done to the businesses that are actually being paid in XRP. Don't tell me that they're not. You've got interledger payment pointers, coil on, on websites. People are being paid in XRP, right? And the SEC have just gone fuck off and basically just knocked every single one of them on their ass. And they're now like, what the fuck? What the what are you doing? It's a currency. We've been using it as a currency for two years, mate. It's been classified as one by FinCEN for five years, mate. What the fuck's going on? If anyone deserves to be fined, charged, and strung up, it's the motherfucker who put this through the day before he resigned, Jay Clayton, whatever he's called. Real talk, that right? if anyone deserves to have the book thrown at him, it's that twat. 
Damn right it is, mate. Everyone's like, but Brad Garland now sold to private investors. So? What's Jed McHale doing every other month? They've actually got contracts that dictate when and when they can and can't sell it onto people. Right? It's nothing new. The, the, the SEC are just twisting it to all the people who don't really understand it, who've never really researched it and looked into it. In a ledger protocol, internet of value, ILP payment pointers, XRP coil payments. It's payments. We're being paid in, in XRP. It's a currency that some of us get wages in. So they need to fuck off fucking with it and just regulate as a digital asset and multifunctional currency like it is. You need to remember the difference between trading and investing. I've only been in it three years. That is not a long-term investment. That's three years into an investment, into a journey. I'm, I, I, I don't want to put people fucking on a downer, but I've, how many times have I said 2023 to 2025? And if you really want to look for the bigger gains, it's 2030. Stop being so impatient. Stop expecting it to just fucking happen like that because someone someone got rich in six months in 2016 and 2017 and you think it's just going to happen for you now in 2020. It's not. And it ain't going to happen in 2021. It will for some, but not for the masses. You have to be extremely lucky to pick the right token or coin or asset like that. Not everyone held Virgin Extra Bytes in 2017. Do you know what I mean? Not everyone held XRP from 2015 to 2018. You could have been 39,000% up or some shit. You got to block out the noise, guys. I'm really not happy that I'm seeing and hearing loads of people who, as far as I'm aware, don't, either don't hold or have sold their XRP. Now telling others to sell. Tell people to sell their asset. Do you, do you know, when, when, when an area's falling down a little bit and it's on a little bit of a decline, do you walk round to someone, do you make, your mate's house and be like, yo, you just sell your house and get the fuck out of here, you mate. I'm in a shithole. Living in a shithole. <laughs> Check yourselves, man. Telling people what to sell. Go round to your mate's house and say, yo, mate, make your car shit. Why don't you sell it and get a good one? It's fucking one. Guys like me, gets me from A to B and I bought it to get from A to B. What the fuck's your problem? It's that kind of no bed mentality that you're coming at XRP. People like that, you've got XRP. Mates would sell them this shit. Man, who are you talking to? Who do you think you are? Telling me what to what to buy and sell? I bought XRP for a long-term investment for 2023, 2025. What year is it, mate? What year is it? 2020, right? Well, shut the fuck up then. Shut, shut, shut. I've told everyone the only thing that's going to make me sit up and be like, hang on, oh hello, before 2023 is a new all time high. When it goes over, XRP over a dollar, I'll be like, oh shit, it's on its way, you what? It's on its way, you what? But mate, mate, no mistake, until we're at a new all time high, I'm just waiting until 2023 like that. Bosh, I'm what? Shut your fucking mouth telling me what to sell. How many people told me to sell me back? Do you know how many people told me to sell me back to like 0.309 I bought them at? And people's like, sell them at 306, 303, 301. It's now like 401. It's 99% down. I've still fucking got them. Don't tell me how weak and strong my hands are, mate. They're fucking like concrete, dickhead. Right? I, I have fucking holding until I want to fucking hold. And ain't no one. No headline, no little dickhead who fucking pinged his off because he wanted to piss up or whatever. No, no, you're not fucking selling yours. Shit in a bed. I've been sat with a big fucking jar of sour grapes, mate. Big green-eyed monster staring back at you. Fuck that. No, 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 no. Them people are not influencing my decisions. Strong hands. And if they carry on, mate, them strong hands will be getting thrown at their fucking face. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm not, I'm not playing games anymore, peeps. If you want to talk about suicidal people, stop trying, stop telling them to fucking sell. Donate them a little something, take them out for a meal, get in his inbox. Don't just send me screenshots of people who you, who you said are suicidal. Message the motherfucker, make sure he's okay. Let him know, it's not the end of the world. He's fucking messaging him saying, just sell him, mate. Well, he's 80% down on his life savings. No one should be putting life savings in, I'm sorry, but... Fucking hell, man. Do you know what I mean? We've said jokingly, just sell everything and go and put it in it and live homeless. <laughs> if you can do that and accept the, the consequences, fill your fucking boots. <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I've already looked at the price today. It's probably about 20 cents again, isn't it? And someone's going to be like, oh, sell, sell your XRP. You should sell your XRP while you can. You should sell your XRP while you can. Well, you should shut the fuck up. Right? Eh? It's like them apples, dickhead. I'll just throw an elbow in your jaw and then see if you want to carry on talking about it. Yeah? Or just let me go and get my steel toe caps on and smash your fucking face in. And then we'll see if you still want to tell me what to do with my life. You egotistical, arrogant... No bed. Take your sour grapes into the corner and go and cry on your own. Because we're in this for the long haul, mate. We are in this for the long haul. And we're smiling, we're laughing our fucking cocks off at the world crumbling. The world's crumbling, mate. Keep saying it. The world's crumbling. And the more it crumbles, the better it looks for me. Yeah? You stick your SEC lawsuit up your ass. It ain't ruining a global supernatural currency. Supranational currency. It's just not. I know a lot of people like to think that the USA is massive. And it controls the whole world. And whatever they do, everyone follows. But it's not true. It's not true. Saying this to someone else the other day. is like, yeah, well, what, anything America does, we do. Do, 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 do. Where's our Second Amendment and guns? Where's our... Well, how have we got an NHS? Yeah, the, the insurance and driving license and all the DVLA systems, completely fucking different. Taxi, completely fucking different. Don't tell me we do what they do. Come on. The Commonwealth influence each other a hell of a lot. If one goes to war, the whole Commonwealth has to be willing to go to war. It's a Commonwealth. It's, like, it's kind of like in the fucking title of be joining me. You know what I mean? Like, just really lug it up. Certain things we will do with each other, but make no mistake, the legislation and regulation doesn't cross borders very often. And if you want to have it, if you really want to go there, just look at federal to state law. Let's not look at the difference between federal law and fucking UK's law. Let's look at all the different fucking laws within the United States and then you'll realise that they can't even get on with each other. Never mind the rest of the fucking world. So pff, let's just let America do what they want to do. The the, the, the the light of America, should we say, will prosper in the long run, 2023, 25, 30, and it will blast out the other side. But I'm afraid for the time being, especially while when we're that new presidency and shit like that and new people coming in, old people going out, there's going to be a bumpy road, Grand National, riding over yet, mate. We're up, down, up, down, up, down. Just keep a smile all the way through it. Add to your bags, diversify. And wait for that day in the sun. Yeah. We're going live later to talk about it anyway. So I want some input. I will be live. I might be a bit baked and stoned by that time. But it'll just make it more entertaining, I guess. So I'll speak to Chris what time he's on from work. We'll get a live stream going. We'll we'll share the Zoom um, code and password so people can join the chat and actually have chat chat. Rather than just type chat in the comments so uh it'll be good it'll be good it will be good block out the noise buy what you want to buy sell what you want to sell Pfft. live long and oddle it till you're ready to let it go don't let some dickhead online make yourself out of fear uncertainty and doubt ignore the fud block it out you do you i'm i'm i'm, I'm Exit strategies are not just price points. They can be time frames. Yeah? 
Invest in the internet of value, invest in yourself, turn hobbies into revenue. Notice, yeah? Wishing health and happiness to you and yours. And until the next one, peace. Take care, guys.